Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker. I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Finally, we have the new Brazilian operators from Boppy available in the game. I took a little longer to post this video here because I wanted to test it in action, instead just being myself walking an empty map. And I really wanted to try it with some challenge. So here we go. I will start with the Defender Caveira, and I will not read all the weapon stats again because I already did in my previous video, if you haven't seen yet, please check it out here on the channel. I will only show her three headgears available so far, so she has this default one here, and this other one that looks sick, and this green one that's not too shabby, but uh, it's just okay. I want to go in this video here beyond it, because I played for almost 3 hours with Caveira and my first impression was, she's amazing. And she is really great indeed. Uh, when you play Caveira, you gotta play as a roamer, outside the objective, trying to flank the enemies. And she is really good, because she is fast and can rotate at any moment. And especially due to her silent step ability, you can move without making almost no sound. It's amazing to surprise the opponents. But there is an issue here, because when you are in the silent step mode, you can only use your pistol. But actually, it's not a problem, because I would dare to say this is her best gun. It's super strong. You can put enemies down with just two bullets at close range. It's a beast, despite of being non-lethal, unless you shoot in the head. The good point is that you can put enemies down to interrogate them. It's a really cool feature, you can really take some advantage of it, but I would say, you know, it, it will be effective on small and narrow maps, like plain, house or favela, for example. On huge maps, um, I don't know if it could be effective, because enemies are spotted for only 10 seconds, so if they are far away, there's nothing you can do. Back to her guns, I, I would rather play with her pistol all the time over the other weapons, because the M12 submachine gun, unless you go for headshots, it's useless. It has low recoil, but it's too weak and the side suck though. If you try long range, you're pretty much dead. This past 15, by the other hand, is not that bad despite of 28 of damage. It's super fast and at close range you can get some kills, but at long range it's not that good as Valkyrie for instance. Actually, Caveira was not made to be used in medium to long range. Not even her pistol can save you. When you pick Caveira, you gotta flank enemies, get close to them to take him out. You always gotta be on the move. Valkyrie cameras are very useful to lead your way towards the enemy. Otherwise, she's very vulnerable. And when you get a prey, before you start to interrogate someone, make sure there is no one else close by to kill you during the animation. So, in other words, Caveira is a very interesting character, but she's not amazing as I thought. Especially due to her guns. She's not versatile, she's terrible inside the objective. And due to her weak guns, the attackers can take her out easily with stronger rifles. I don't think Caveira will be very useful on competitive, but she's definitely a really fun character to be used on casual and ranked matches. That's it guys, but before I say bye, I want to thank my friend Zureya, because I use his account to get all this footage here. Okay, so that's my guide for Caveira, catch you later and bye amigos! Now watch me, nay, nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me, nay, nay.